Hey guys, Maker CK here, and today I'm going to build some Nixie Tube clocks. Now, I have the clocks here. They're already made. Let's see if you can see that. Yeah, and if you haven't seen these Nixie Tube tube clocks before, they're they're really cool. All the numbers 1 through 9 are in that tube, and these are old school what they used to use back in the day. And uh people are refurbishing them, getting these Nixie tubes and making clocks and different things out of them. I also ordered um, some Arduino shields. I got these quite a while ago actually, can you see that? With the Nixie tubes. And there's different kinds here. There's um, these long tubes that stick straight up. I believe those are the 12s, no, oh, 14s. The 14 tubes are the ones that stick straight up. And then they have these other ones that are a little bit different. Let me put this up here, see if you can see those. Yeah, then they have these other ones that are a bit different. And they stick out like that, but too, the number one through nine is within the tube itself, and to see it flip, uh, you can see the filament there. It's pretty cool. Anyway, when I ordered these, these are Arduino shields, all these. This one, this one, and this one here. So I have three of those, and I, I to be quite honest, I haven't used them yet, because when they got sent to me, um, they're not really totally put together, they don't have a power source, and so there's still some work to be done to get those working and I haven't done it yet. But these here, when I ordered them, they were pretty much ready to go. And I'll plug one in to show you what it looks like here in just a second. But this one and this one, um, they're already clocks ready to go. So you can plug them in and see how they work. But they don't have a casing. And that's what I'm gonna build today. I'm gonna build the casing and get it going. I just thought I'm gonna keep it real simple. I'm not gonna get fancy. I'm just gonna build the box um, and I have some materials. I'm gonna put some, um, copper sheet over top and then I have some black mesh sheet I'm gonna put over top of that and thought I'd kind of like steampunk it a little bit because these Nixie tubes look kind of old school and steampunkish so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna try to finish the job here on this and steampunk this Nixie tube clock so let me zoom in here and uh, show you what the clock looks like when it's plugged in all right Okay guys, here's what the Nixie tube clocks look like when they're plugged in. Each, uh, now uh, maybe I can press a button on the back and you can, you can see the numbers change, but each tube contains zero through nine. And then, um, and then it changes, but it's, it's, if you look up, if you look at it really up close, you can see every number in the tube is, is fit in there. So when it changes, especially the ones when you have the second hands, they look really cool. So. There's what that bulb looks like, and let me plug in the other one here and show you what the other bulb looks like real quick. And I'm going to build a box for both. Today I'm going to start with the tubes that, um, whoops, let's flip it over. There. I can see that one. So that one sticks straight out, and these other ones you saw stick straight up. So this one, we'd have to build a clock mount uh, that's a little bit different, where it faces uh, frontwards like that and this one I'm just going to build a box where the tubes stick out the top anyway that's what they look like and let's go build a casing for it alright here we are in the shop guys and I got um, some scrap wood here We've got all our supplies kind of laid out scrap wood and then I got my sheeting and like I said I'm just gonna make I'm just gonna make a box with the scrap wood here, just kind of a generic uh, box, so that we can take the sheeting and uh, bend it, cut it to size, and put it over top. I'm gonna fasten the the um, sheeting on. I got these little, I don't know if you can see those. Let's see, little um, copper fasteners, so nails, copper nails. So that's what we're gonna use. Let's get to it.
Okay, here we are with the final version. And it's kind of hard to get it on camera, but um, I think you can see it a little bit. We have the copper sheeting, and then over top of the copper sheeting, we just have this black mesh. And then uh, I fastened it to the wood box with these little copper nails, fasteners, right there. So it's pretty crude steampunk. And you can see in the in the middle, that's not even really centered. That's off kilter. It's all kind of meant to be off kiltered and kind of banged together on purpose, which um, is convenient since I wouldn't have been very good at getting everything perfect anyway. So let's just show you this side of it. it plugs in the back there. I left the back empty so that I could kind of get the cord and everything. So there you go. Final version. Steampunk Nixie Box uh, covering. And just so you can see what it looked like before, it was basically like this except for the other tubes. I did have it sitting on my desk before, just kind of plugged in and sitting there. So having this box now is an improvement. I think it looks pretty good. So it'll look nice sitting next to the computer and everything else there. All right, that's it. So if you tuned in, thanks for watching. And uh, I guess at some point I'll be making a covering for uh, this other one, this other Nixie tube. So I'll have to think up something to do for that. Until next time, we'll see you guys later. Thanks.